Yo, what's up school fans and welcome back to the vlog It is game day in the IBL Gila, akhirnya kita ngeliput IBL lagi setelah sekian lama uh, Sekarang ini gue udah ada di Wash, kita akan menuju ke Bandung Of course, kita akan dua hari di sana karena akan ada dua game seru uh, Tapi hari ini kita akan ngeliput dulu Prawira Harum Bandung melawan Bali United di mana this is a battle between two all-star point guards Ada Yuda Saputra dan juga ada Abraham Wenas That's gonna be fun Tapi gue juga gak sabar sih untuk melihat battle between two great coaches yaitu coach Tony Garbalodo dan juga coach David Singleton mereka obviously punya banyak history uh, dulu mereka sempat kerja bareng di ABL untuk Saigon Heat so semoga kita bisa dapetin ceritanya mereka sih nanti setelah pertandingan semoga kita bisa ngobrol-ngobrol saat lagi press conference juga dengan kedua pelatih but super excited semoga nanti kita juga bisa nge-vlog makanan pas di Bandung um, yeah once again really appreciate you guys udah support vlog gue selalu dari IBL semoga kalian juga akan enjoy nonton vlog hari ini tapi kalau kalian enjoy pastikan guys support channel ini dengan jadi member kalian bisa langsung klik aja join di bawah ini and once again guys thank you so much for the amazing support jangan lupa untuk like jangan lupa untuk comment and please nonton vlog ini juga secara full and yeah enjoy the vlog guys baru nyampe Bandung ya, langsung disambut sama hujan lumayan deras ini wah bingung juga nih naik go karek gimana nih And we made it to our hotel guys Dan sekarang ini gue mau sharing sih dengan kalian semua uh, Kali ini di Bandung gue nginep di daerah Dago Nama hotelnya adalah Down Residence Ini sangat strategis banget lokasinya Ini sekitar cuma 7 menit aja Kau mau ke Gorge Citra Lalu juga di seberang jalan kaki Udah bisa ke my favorite coffee shop Yaitu Two Hands Full So I love it Seperti kalian tahu ya, di Bandung itu kalau weekend Harga hotelnya bisa 700 ribu, 800 ribu semalam Ini kemarin gue cari-cari di Agoda Gue nemu ya 420 ribu semalam malam sih, tapi ini not bad at all guys, ini ada kulkasnya kita room tour dikit, bisa taruh koper juga di sini. sini ada toilet, lalu ada ini meja, ini bisa taruh tas juga kasurnya juga lumayan gede dan di sini ada tempat kerja juga dan ini disediain makan apa piring untuk makan guys, jadi meh gue nemu ini hoki banget sih, and I love it sih, jadi Uh, ini bisa sedikit sharing aja sih kepada kalian Mungkin kalau nanti ke depannya ada mau nyari hotel dekat Gor Citra Dan harganya lumayan terjangkau Down Residence is not bad So, sebentar lagi kita akan jalan Masih ngecas HP dulu Dan juga nyiapin kamera Lalu kalian jalan nyari makan sih Karena I'm very very hungry guys Kita akan nyobain tempat makan Dan juga kopi baru nih guys Namanya Will's Coffee Roasters Ini udah banyak banget yang rekomendasi gue Untuk cobain di daerah Dago kalau gitu guys, gue udah lapar banget, langsung kita gas cobain ke dalam. Thank you banget sih yang kemarin udah rekomendasiin untuk Will's Coffee Roasters ini. I had a great experience ini tempatnya gede banget guys, jadi nyaman banget, nggak terlalu harus deket-deket sama orang lain. I love a big space sih, kalau lagi makan kayak gini. And tadi gue pesen chicken pesto with spaghetti, itu porsinya pas banget sih. Lumayan gede menurut gue, cukup kenyangin juga dengan harga Rp59.000. I think that was perfect. Lalu juga pastinya ada chicken and chicken it cooks really well too man Dan itu juga lumayan banyak ayamnya So, gue really lumayan impressed sih with the food And of course, gue juga pesen ice americano Wah, kayak gak lengkap ya, gue gak pesen kopi And the ice americano was pretty good too um, Jadi udah cocok nih untuk abis ini kita berangkat kerja juga Dan terakhir, kita pastinya juga pesen dessert Yaitu soft serve, ada ice cream rasa, uh, coffee mm, Itu juga one of the best meals sih today hari ini So, Ben, really recommend sih, recommend banget sih untuk ke Will's Coffee Roasters ini jadi kalau kalian lagi di Bandung daerah Dago boleh lah sekali-sekali mampir sini ya, harganya affordable banget sih menurut gue sih dengan porsi makanannya so ya yeah, itu sedikit uh, food review dari gue abis ini kita saatnya kerja-kerja-kerja guys <laughs> ngeliput prawira lawan Bali United for the Indonesian basketball culture of course so ya yeah, abis ini kita bayar dulu <laughs> so, langsung lanjut kita ke Gor Citra kita kecepetan dong, gengs. <laughs> Terlalu niat kayaknya mau ngeliput hari ini. Masih setengah enam kurang, kita udah ada di Gor Citra Arena. Dan ini masih lumayan sepi sih di sini. Tapi gak apa, kita standby aja untuk nungguin para pemain datang dan juga turun bus. Good luck, man. What's up, baby? What's up, bro? Welcome back. Thank you. All star. <laughs> hey, coach. <laughs> more, more famous than the teams. <laughs> How are you, coach? 
Good. How excited are you? Matching up against really? Coach David Singleton, your friend. Of course, very, very. Always for excited uh, to play Bandung, uh, champion team. So let's hope that today we can uh, cause a mini upset, especially after they played in the BCL. All uh, right, Coach, good luck, man. Good Thank to see you. you. We're going to talk after the game. Yeah. Rico, what's up, bro? Hey! <laughs> Ini dari video Jalen Brown nih. Yes, sir. Remember it. Yes, sir. yes sir. Good luck, bro. Hello. What's up, Kiel? How you doing, man? All star. All star. Congratulations, all star. Gimana perasaan nih? All star kedua. Kedua. Gimana nih? Ya, puji Tuhan ya masih bisa balik lagi ke IBL All Star. Semoga bisa memberikan terbaik lah buat basket. Indonesia, Bali, ya dan semuanya. Udah siap nih mecap lawan Yuda hari ini. Oh siap dong. <laughs> dan bertarung lagi. Dua yeah. kosong. Yeah. <laughs> siap, good luck. Uh, LG, thank you Bram. See you, see you. Gerald Green, kayak lagi nanya-nanya nih ke uh, James Kiss. Kayaknya udah kenal lama juga kelihatannya nih. Ngobrolnya lumayan lama soalnya. input input game sama James Jess that's pretty cool to see though ada yang kembaran nih, EI nya kembaran nih Yuda dan juga Antonio Hester dua-duanya jadi tim EI nih terinfluence sama Yuda nih kayaknya Sepatunya Bram apa sih sepatunya Bram? Keren juga sih sepatunya Bram Under Armour lah ya pasti ya Dia Under Armour nih sekarang sekarang Nyala nih sepatunya ini But once again congratulations though Kepada Abraham Wenas Second time All Star Well deserved banget sih He's having a good season so far Good to see Sally dengan jersey latihan dan juga membantu pemain lainnya pemanasan juga good to see though, dia bilang udah 80% sekarang ini jadi sebentar lagi saya bisa comeback Kelvin juga membantu, tapi Kelvin baru sembuh sih dia baru sembuh, katanya masih kelingan tapi ekspektasinya adalah DCL bisa main sih itu adalah ekspektasinya untuk Kelvin oke, okay, well soon Kelvin Let's take it away. 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 Cukup dulu tangannya. Join, tahu aja.
on his back. Listen, uh, this is a championship level team. We knew that it was um, the worst possible team to play out of any team in this league because they've, they've been basically on training camp with four of the hardest games that any Indonesian team has played this all year, okay? So they came in, their timing was good. You could see they're really quick to the ball. We've been off for one month. And, you know, we also had to deal with some injury stuff both at the start of the, the layoff and also here. Listen, there's no excuses. We got beaten up on the boards. Um, we weren't ready to play. Uh, what we had to do to kind of keep ourselves in the game was, you know, kind of like, I don't know, it was like some sort of recreational league, uh, you know, just trying to make the game as messy as possible because we just weren't ready to play, and and that's not that's on me. That's on that's not on the players. Um, X kind of got it going in the second half. We didn't play with any rhythm. Um, we don't play with any uh, pace consistently. We couldn't make any consistent stops. Francis was awesome as usual. Um, such a tough cover in this league. Um, and then you know if you want to just. You know, bear it down, all of the small little bounces went their way in the second half when maybe we could have made a small run. Um, but we didn't. Um, we got beaten comprehensively. Okay, our job, and I've always said, is not really at this the top four teams, of which they are one of the top four teams 100%. Our job is to beat the teams that are going to be in the fifth to eighth spot in the playoffs, or fifth to tenth. Uh, whatever that's going to be. It was tough, uh, for sure. We had, like Coach said, we had a long layover, and early on we struggled and kind of dug ourselves a hole, and we were trying to fight back the entire game. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say, to be honest, because we just weren't in sync, we weren't in rhythm, uh, we were anxious. We've only been practicing against each other for the last month, and a lot of guys, like Coach said, have been in and out with, with injuries during the break, trying to recover and get ready for this uh, run towards the last half of the season. Uh, I guess, I mean, it's good that we split with them 1-1, and now we can move on and, you know, continue to stack up wins for the rest of the season. Coach. Yeah, As a, I, I want to I want to say publicly <laughs> because to be honest with you, all these guys here yeah. like they're not anything, okay? <laughs> but publicly, it's all down to you. <laughs> you're here, we always lose and play poorly. I know, right? Three times, like every time I watch you guys. But coach. As a, as a head coach, having two long breaks, two different long breaks, how tough is it to get uh, to keep your team in rhythm? I mean, it's tough if you're going to go against, you know, Dave, who prepares his team and had all of those games. If I said, if we're, we're going to be better off playing PJ or SM, 
because at least those guys, well, not DJ SM or they were first, because those guys hadn't played any games. You know, it was crazy. I mean, the whole thing's crazy. But listen, um, bottom line is um, they were a little off themselves. They didn't play their best game, but we were way away from where we've been, especially defensively. We could never kind of get a hold into this game. And they that's full credit to them. They run a lot of different stuff, you know, stuff that most teams don't. Um, we couldn't really find the balance there. And then, like I said, offensively, we're really out of sync. You know, we're not playing with the right river more. And again, that's down to their coaching. Um, they did a great job of putting us in off, off in that first couple of minutes with the different defense that we hadn't seen before. And that's the way it is. Abraham went us struggling today. So, uh, on a truthful basis, um, Abraham, I'm not going to say what, but he definitely picked up an injury, uh, possibly even yesterday, but for sure two days ago, and you're right. Um, Abraham, right from the start, didn't look like the player that we've seen for the whole of the season, and we, we really missed that. And if you saw my substitution patterns, you realize that there's not something that's not right. Um, it's not anything about him as person. He is definitely struggling. Um, and I pray that we can uh, get him 100% for Sunday. I'm not sure that's going to happen. But um, if not, then two weeks' time when we play solo, we really need him 100%. Coach, you have some history with Coach David Singleton. You guys work together in the ABL with, with Saigon Heat. Just how proud are you of him? You know, coming this far in the I idea. Mean, the bottom line is he shouldn't be coaching in this league. I mean, he should be coaching in another league. He won the championship, and you know, he is. He shows that you know he's a great coach. He showed how that it was when he when they played in the, the BCL. I thought they were awesome in the BCL, um, and that's strictly down to him and how he runs his program. Um, how he's developed the players, uh, which is a really important point for Indonesian basketball. Don't just think you can pick uh, imports. He's really developed his local players. and He doesn't even have two of the best local players that aren't even here, they're on other teams now. So, um, full credit to him. Um, he knows that, I've always felt that as well. Um, we know it's a, a really a struggle when we go up against him. And, uh, you know, I think that that team is gonna contend um, Unless you know other things, you know factors you know, come up. Coach, thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, good evening, everyone. I think um, tonight's game was a good game for us. I thought uh, for pretty much three quarters we played well. I thought second quarter we had a little bit of dip, uh, but that's kind of normal. I mean, it's been a time off of Ramadan, and then uh, we have some guys out. Even uh, just a late scratch with Indra, kind of surprising to us as well. Kind of changes our lineup and rotation. So. Uh, very proud of everybody stepping up. We needed an effort like that from this guy right here who was on attack mode all game long. I also felt like our team uh, had a little chip on our shoulder uh, losing to them last time the way we did. Uh, not playing to our level um, and obviously new players so uh, you see the difference in our team now. So uh, I'm very proud of the boys. We had a lot of effort and help from all over the place in this team. And uh, the best part is we can play better. We know we can play even better than this. Um, I think this should have been a 100-point game. Uh, but uh, there's more to do, and so we're excited about the future. Yeah, we have another match tomorrow. How do you anticipate maybe, uh, maybe tired less or something like that? We're not tired at all. I think Mongolia got us ready um, for that. There's a lot of back-to-back -back games we have over there, the weather, everything. I think I can play another game right now. I feel great. I know my team is still good too, so um, it's in the mind, man. We, we work way too hard this week. Two practices in the day. Uh, we've been in the way room. I mean, we're not satisfied at all. We haven't done anything. We know we're the champions, but we got it. For me, I'm going to come in and prove it every night that, you know, we a team that you guys got to worry about, humbly speaking. We're going to respect the opponent, but we don't fear anyone, so. It's not such a thing as being tired. I don't think it's, it's in something that you should even mention on this camp. Your family come to this match. Yeah. Over here, how uh, they uh, motivate uh, the performance? 
Me, I get motivated by anything. Um, I grab every little thing just to get motivated. And if I'm not motivated, then I just start talking. That's how I get going. So that's why people say I trust talking like I don't. I'm just getting myself going. I'm a high, 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 high level competitive guy on and off the court. So, and we know, um, you know, I got coached back. Uh, we have the faith to bring me back here. He put everything on the table for me. So, my way to pay him back is to go out there and show him every night that, you know, y'all know what I'm able to do in the court. So, um, and you know, they lost to Bali the first game. And I don't know how much it meant to him. His mom is in town too, so I know he didn't want to lose in front of his mom. I know he didn't say it, but I know it. Um, so I wanted to give this team, especially our coach, you know, this victory. I know it means a lot to him, it a lot to me. My family is in town too, so um, I think the motivation comes from family to me. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I think first of all, this is a family environment. Uh, our program, our organization is all behind it. I think uh, we always welcome wives and our moms and aunts and uncles around us, uh, as well as our other imports. Hester was able to see his family on the break. James brought his wife here, and then we're very happy to see that B got his family here this time. Um, it's a beautiful thing to see his son and his wife here. And so. Uh, you know, I know that fuels him as well. Uh, he's already fueled, but I think that that fuels him as well. Um, and then same thing for me. I mean, this is the first time in four years that anybody in my family has come <laughs> out this way. Uh, so, you know, I'm normally going all over the world seeing people. So it, it is very special. Uh, I don't take it for granted, but, uh, you know, I'm just very happy that we got the win. And uh, we got to get another one on. So. Coach. Uh, were you surprised by the physicality today? Uh, yeah, I mean the physicality. I think I knew they was gonna do something because I think they know we had a, we, we are, had an edge. I think they knew we were kind of mad about the last time, and I also think they know we're a different team for that first time. And so, anytime you're on the road, you got to kind of get a little bit dirty, a little bit nasty, um, just to kind of get the energy of the team and make sure that you guys have the right mindset. So. I think we expected that. Uh, we knew that coming in, some of their players wanted to do that. Uh, but, you know, obviously the excessive stuff, I think, goes a little too much. Uh, we let the referees handle that. But, um, you know, I'm just very proud of the boys. They held themselves. They held their composure. Uh, there was never back down from this team. We don't care what team we play. Uh, nobody will push us around ever. So uh, uh, players, coaches, it doesn't matter. So. Um, I think every team knows that as well. So I'm very proud of the boys to hold their composure um, and, and, and never have no back down because that's who we are. So uh, yeah, that's it. Brandon played 30 minutes tonight. Is that a little yeah. bit over? We well, wait for tomorrow. Well, you know what? I don't think so. I mean, again, he's, he talked about not being fatigued. I think also um, there was parts of the game where they kind of were trying to cut it a bit here and there, and it was like, no, we got to keep him in. Um, just, you know, how the game was going, but we luckily got him out a couple times, and I think he's, you know, again, he's he's in shape, he's ready to go, and uh, I think every time that those lights flip on, I don't think he gets too fatigued. I think the adrenaline, the motivation, all that type of stuff, so uh, I know he'll be able to find energy tomorrow and be ready to go. He played with 25 minutes right off the plane, man. That's true. That's true, though. That's true. This is heaven for me to have 24-hour rest. I'll be more than ready to go tomorrow, especially against that team that I'm looking forward to play. Yeah. Coach, one more. Yes. Um, I know you and Coach Tony had some history together right. uh, in the ABL at Second Heat. Yes. He said he was speaking on you. He said like he should you shouldn't be coaching in this league. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what what does he mean to your career and as a mentor? Absolutely. Uh, he was. I mean, the story I've always told the story. Tony gave me my first job in Asia. Uh, Go way back 2015. Uh, a buddy of mine who coached at Maccabi Tel Aviv in Euroleague knew Tony, uh, connected us through email. I was in Oakland, California at the time, and he said, Hey, you want to come out here coaching the ABL International League in Vietnam? And I was like, Vietnam? He's like, It's actually cool. You get to fly all over the country to country and train and develop players and help create basketball here, build basketball here. So he gave me opportunity to be myself. Uh, he was very open to my ideas and what I wanted to do and so uh, forever grateful for Tony Because ever since I got out here, I just continue to move forward in my career and uh, He's a big reason why so 
uh, I always show love to Coach Tony. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. Brandon, after the Mongolia trip, what did you see different from this team? Um, I think some of our locals understand that we can play at any level now. This is where we are. Basketball is basketball. Especially Yuda, Hans, you know, those guys show out on the BCL. Indra had an amazing performance. Um, and we need that. We need the locals to step up. Pando had a pretty good game too, the last game. I can keep going on and on. When I mean locals, I mean everybody. Um, and like, for example, for tonight, Fernando had a great game, you know, so we need guys like Lobo to get back on rhythm. We need to get Kelvin back. We need to get Sandy back. I mean, this guy's living for the locals. We just gotta keep working hard. Uh, and for us, the people, we understand what we mean to this team, and we just try to be better every night. Before you came here, a lot of people doubt you about, you know, the competition is much better now, you know, Brandon might not be on MVP level anymore now, but I think you are shutting up the critics right now. What do you think? I think the critics being over after <laughs> my second game probably. Um, but be surprised. Um, I, we keep winning out here and I keep winning those numbers. I, I can get back to back MVPs. Respect to everybody out there, but they know what I'm capable of every night. I'm not being arrogant, respectfully to all the players putting in work, but they know what I'm into this league, different leagues, and Brandon. I mean, couldn't do it without this guy right here to my left, put me in the positions every night, my teammates. Um, and you know, I didn't stop working, man. I was at home, waiting, letting everything fall off. I didn't do anything wrong to anybody, so it was only right. I deserve to be here. I'm embracing it, and um, I do that again, all over again, with all love and all passion. Every now I step on the floor, you just want to see a guy who really cares and who really loves to win at all costs. Thank you, guys. Congratulations on the All Star, and let's get something to eat, bro. Let's go get some good dinner. <laughs> Thank you, guys.